Greetings from EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler, and alongside me are Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the West Virginia Mountaineers and the Clemson Tigers. It's time to go bowling. We're privileged to bring you the play-by-play -play of this highly anticipated bowl game. And here come the Tigers. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? Clemson needs a big game from their talented running back. And I think they'll win the battle up front, and he's going to have a tremendous day. Look for him to lead them to victory. But Lee, it's going to be very close. I guess I should let you in on my pick then. West Virginia will win this football game. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. White fields it in the end zone. Well, folks, you're in for a treat today. Taking the field for this offense is a very, very talented running back. This offense really thrives on him getting things going on the ground. But, Brad, it's not going to be easy today. He's going up against a very tough run defense. Yeah, this defense has been watching film of his playmaking running back all week. They're up to the challenge, and if they shut him down, it can ultimately decide the outcome of this game. in the nation. Have a look at the stats. Well, I'll tell you what, this whole defense seems to be full of All-Americans. No yeah. doubt about it. These kids are the real deal. Gorman, back to pass. Draw play. Sheds a tackler. Tackle. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. West Virginia has just been dominant on offense. So far, so good. They've got themselves in the top ten in the country. All year long, these guys have been almost impossible to shut down when they're on the offensive side of the ball. Throws it to the outside. Complete, and he's on the run. Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Gorman comes to the line with three wide. Gorman back to throw. He's looking. He's going left. It's deflected. And the safety got a hand on it that time. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 42. The Mountaineers line up with three wide. Here's an option, right side. They'll bring him down. Nice running on the option there. That was a spectacular option keeper there, and I'm going to tell you why. It looked like that play was going nowhere, but this quarterback made the right choice by holding on to the football. You're right. Good heads-up play there by the QB. They'll throw on first down. He tosses it short, and it's incomplete. The intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Yeah. 
the Mountaineers come out in a two tight end set. A little juke. He's knocked out of bounds. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. The Mountaineers set up in the gun. Gorman will throw. Oh, they're going to hand it off. And they make the stop. The draw play gets maybe two yards. It's second down and eight to go. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Gorman is back in the gun. And the snap goes to the back. Oliver brings him down. The halfback picks up a yard. Third and seven coming up here. This is the tenth play of this drive. The Mountaineers line up with four wideouts. Carey tackles him for a loss on the play. The defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense if he's releasing a safety to stop the run. And Kirk, that leaves a big hole out there. But on plays when they run the ball, it works. Here we go. They'll try to make this a field goal game. He gets it up. And it splits the uprights. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Robinson looks ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Sherman fields it at the two. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll take over at the 19. They come out with three wide receivers. Scott with a takedown. Almost eked out a yard on that one. Second. It's second down and nine to go. Ball, Ball on the 20 yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Johnson steps back to pass. Comes across the middle. And it's the senior. And he's tackled. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Johnson lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Throws it out there. It's deflected. That pass was knocked down at the line before it even had a chance of getting to the intended target. That thing had some heat on it, too. Oh, yeah, it was a bullet, all right. I'm surprised he's got his hands up quick enough to knock it down. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 32. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. He tosses it short. Horton brings him down. Just about three yards there. It's third down and seven to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Tiger set up in the gun. Run with a monster hit. This is just a nice play by the defense. They're not fooled at all in this draw play. You're right, they were all over that play. to punt this one away. Crap, punts it, and it's a good one. 
White takes it at the 16. He spins around, and now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 22-yard line. Start the drive at the 22-yard line. First and 10. From the gun. Over the middle. And he drops it. Nice pass. Just wasn't caught. And when you're a tight end, you usually don't get too many passes thrown your way. So you got to catch the easy ones. So it's second and 10. Ball of the 22. The Mountaineers line up with two tight ends. He drops back. He steps up, looking. Pressure coming. Throws. Couldn't haul it in. Harris, the intended receiver on the play. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 22. West Virginia comes to the line with three wide. Steps up, throws this one out to the right, and he brings it down. He has some room at the point, and he's taken down at the 34-yard line. That's just airing it out on third down. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. First and 10, ball on the 34. They come out in a nickel. Gets the ball, though they faked it. Aaron and out long. Incomplete pass. He had to get rid of that one in a hurry. The defensive coordinator cooked up a good blitz package that time, and although it didn't result in a sack, it forced a bad throw. It's second down and 10 to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. West Virginia comes out with two tight ends. White gets it on a pitch. He's looking down the middle. He's got it. The quarterback has some room. They'll bring him down. And the trickery pays off with a nice gain and a first down. Pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The Mountaineers go with the eye formation, throws to the middle, incomplete. A little too high for his receiver. When you throw the football into the end zone, you've got to be extremely accurate. You don't have any room for errors. The Mountaineers come out showing three wide. PAT. So here's the Pontiac Drive summary to recap what just happened. Robinson looks ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Sherman fields it at the three. So the offense takes over, and they'll try to figure out this defense as they forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. They'll set up shot at the 20. Clemson. Comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Back to pass, steps up in the pocket. He'll dump this one off. Complete, Richardson brings him down. So they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key. 
because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. The Tigers line up in an eye formation. He passes it, and it's caught, brought down. The play fake, good for only a couple. Third and one, ball on their own 29. They're crowding the line. Here's a pitch, left side. He's gobbled up in the backfield. So the toss play to the tailback goes nowhere. They line up to punt this one away. Cramp gets it off. White fields it to the 34. Missed tackle. What to look for in this drive is to see how often the defense changes up its coverages. They didn't defend the pass very well that last drive, so it's going to be interesting to see if they play them differently here. They'll start this drive at the 43-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Gorman sets up the play action. Once and all, going deep. He's got him! And they finally knock him out at the nine-yard line. Now, that was a good-looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. Right. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters the most. The Mountaineers come out showing three wide. Wade with a takedown. A yard, if any, there for the halfback. They come out with a big set. Shake and make move. Thompson brings him down. The running back gets two on the carry. We're through one here in the national championship. With our score, West Virginia, 10, Clemson, nothing. The Mountaineer set up in the gun, drops back to pass, looks, throws it to the outside. It falls incomplete. Robinson lined up for the field goal. This should be a chip shot. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. West Virginia ready to kick this one off. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Sherman fields it at the three. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what they're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. They'll go to work at the 18-yard line. Clemson comes to the line with three wide. Johnson drops back on first down. Short toss. A hard throw, and it was dropped. He possibly could have taken something off that one, but hey, when you throw that way, your receiver still can make the catch. You're one step away from the big leagues, right, Coach? Kirk, you're absolutely right. The great ones will catch anything. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 18. 
The Tigers go with the eye formation. McGee gets a pitch. Here he goes. Lane with a takedown. And a huge run by the tailback. This guy's always had outstanding vision, but it seems he's got some incredible quickness as well once he gets into the open field. Boy, you're right. This kid showed me he's a great-looking athlete. It's first and 10. Ball on the 32. Johnson comes to the line with three wide. Johnson hands it off, and he stopped behind the line. No place to go that time, and the offense loses a yard or two. Nice job of plugging up all the gaps and the possible cutback lanes by the defense. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on their own 31. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Third down, 15. This is the fifth play of this drive. Clemson sets up with four receivers. He steps up, going deep, lays it out there. Someone got a hand on it. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding on the offense. Clemson ready to put this one away. It's away and it's a booming punt. White fields it at the 26. The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. They'll take over at the 35-yard line. Gorman is back in the gun. He drops back. He's looking. And he's going to come up with a sack. This kid has had a remarkable year getting to the quarterback. He's been dominating the line of scrimmage all year, and he just broke the school record for sacks in one season. Let me tell you something. I talked to one quarterback that played against this kid, and he told me that before he snapped the ball, he had to always know where this guy was lined up. Second and long coming up here. Ball on their own 28. Ball on the 28. The Mountaineers line up with three wide. Rose. Big opening. And he's taken down. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 43. Keep an eye on that cornerback down there. He has big play potential. Gorman hands it off. Moore with a monster hit. Couldn't get anything out of that. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. Harris gets it off, and it's out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll set up shot at the 25-yard line. This impact tailback would love nothing more than to have the ball in his hands right now. He's into the open field. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Second and three. Ball on their own 32. The Tigers come out showing three wide. Tosses it short. 
He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Johnson comes to the line with three wide. Johnson hands off to the left. Miller with a takedown. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. First and ten. Ball on the 39. Four wide. Johnson drops back on first down. Looking. Let's it fly. Got him again. He's all the way down to the eight-yard line. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Well, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. Johnson lines up in the shotgun. Johnson drops to throw. Wants to throw outside. Someone got a hand on it. That ball's incomplete as the defender got a piece of the ball. Well thrown ball here by the quarterback into the end zone, but give the defender credit. He made a heck of a play. Clemson has done a great job of getting points once they get inside the red zone. Hey, when they get close to the goal line, you can count on some kind of score. They never come away empty-handed. Back to pass. Complete. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. <laughs> Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. Drop back to pass. Across the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. Moore in to attempt the short field goal. It's up. And he got it. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. West Virginia sets up in the eye. They'll throw on first down. Down the middle. And it falls incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys playing football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. They come out with four wide out. Steps up, looks, lets it go. And it's caught. Nothing gained on the play. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 20. West Virginia comes out in the shotgun. Gorman, back to pass, steps up in the pocket. Thompson comes away with a sack. The blitz was the call, but the D lineman was the one who made his way to the quarterback. And he showed great quickness getting off the line into the backfield. This guy can move for a big fella. Right. 
They line up to punt this one away. Harris punts it, and it's a good one. Sherman fields it at the 34. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. They'll start this drive at the 44. One man backfield, McGee on a pitch out. Lane brings him down. They go with a run and that'll be a gain of nine. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 47. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. Johnson drops back. He'll dump this one off. Almost picked off. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. On the offense. Tinder penalty. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 43. The Tiger set up in the gun. Johnson with the give. Sheds that one. He can scoop. Miller with a takedown. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. Third and two, ball on the 48-yard line. The Tigers line up in a goal line formation. There's a missed tackle. They'll bring him down. Well, Kirky managed to get enough there to move the chains. Yep, that's a great effort there by the running back to be able to get the ball upfield and pick up another valuable first down. It's first and 10, ball on the 42. Johnson is back in the gun. Uh-oh, high snap. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Clemson takes a timeout. Second and long coming up here. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. They come out in a nickel. Johnson steps back to pass. Across the middle, complete. Seven. Brings him down. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Third so another change. third down upcoming ball for the offense. Johnson has four receivers lined up here. Throws it to the outside. And he's got him on the fly. Clemson calls a timeout. First and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. Johnson with three wide receivers. Johnson hands it off. No, play fake, and it's caught. Lane with a takedown. Gain of nine. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters the most. They're in the red zone, where last time they came away with only a field goal. Complete. Nice heads-up play by the quarterback. Yep, they're moving to change. That's the first down. The Tiger come out in the ace formation. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. Wants to throw outside. That was a well-drawn-up play for the White House. They saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can think the play call is there. Very impressive. Tax on the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter, and our score is West Virginia 13, Clemson 10. And 
it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Harris fields it in the end zone. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. Gorman lines up in the shotgun. He steps up, throws short, and it's caught. He breaks free. Gets past the tackler, and he's drilled. West Virginia takes a timeout. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. The Mountaineers set up in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Short toss. Porter brings him down. West Virginia calls a timeout. It's second down and five to go. Ball on their own 42. West Virginia comes out with two tight ends. Wants to throw outside. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts. But give me a break. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 42. The Mountaineers line up with four wideouts. Throws this one out to the right. I know it's incomplete, but still, you've got to be impressed with the zip that he put on that one. He did have some heat on it, that's for sure. They line up to punt this one away. He punts it. Sherman signals for a fair catch. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. They'll set up shot at the 23-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Here's a counterplay. Duke moves. Richardson with a takedown. And they're going to play keep away and work this clock. You can feel it in the air tonight as we're only one half away from crowning the national champions. Our halftime score, West Virginia 13, Clemson 10. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Sherman fields it in the end zone. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll go to work at the 21-yard line. Single set backfield. First down. He's going left. Incomplete pass. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 21. The Tigers line up with five receivers. Johnson back to throw. Throws this one out to the right. Got it. And he's shoved out of bounds, so they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. High formation here. McGee gets the call. J. 
takes off a tackle, and they make the stop, and he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. First and ten, ball on the 32. They line up in an eye. Johnson drops to throw. Steps up. He's looking. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. They sure did, but somehow he got rid of the football. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 32. Johnson comes to the line with three wide. Johnson will hand it off. Scott brings him down. A two-yard run by the halfback. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. Johnson drops back to pass. Looking. He's going right. It's deflected. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. Well, we really didn't expect this. They're leading this football game without grinding it out on the ground with their stud running back. Yeah, Brad, you could have fooled me. I thought the only way they could control this game was by feeding their playmaker enough carries on the ground. He hasn't done much to contribute to this lead so far. No, he's not having the game we thought he'd have, but it's only been two quarters. Don't be surprised to see this young man run over this defense here in the second half. They'll get the ball here at the 28. High formation here. A two-yard run by the halfback. Second it's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 30. Gorman is back in the gun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Down the middle. Big opening. Henry with a monster hit. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First, first and ten. ten. Ball right around Ball midfield. Gorman with three wide receivers. On the ground with the tailback. Moore brings him down. The running back picks up a yard on the counter. Second and nine coming up here. Ball right around midfield. The Mountaineers line up with three wide. The option left. Pitches back. And he's hit hard. The quarterback caused him to run out of room. Excellent play by him to keep it from going outside. It's third down and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. West Virginia lines up with three receivers. Drops back to pass. Looks across the middle, and he dropped it. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. West Virginia ready to punt this one away. Harris boots it way up there. Sherman calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the nine. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll take over at the nine-yard line. First and ten. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. He's looking. 
Across the middle. Couldn't haul it in. The tailback dropped that ball. Yeah, his technique was all off. He's got to do a better job next time. So it's second and ten. Ball on the nine. They line up with trips to the right. Simon with a monster hit. Excellent job for the defense to read the draw play. Yep, the quarterback thought he could spread him out and find a hole for himself to run through. But they were having none of that. Third and 11. Ball on the eight-yard line. Johnson is back in the gun. He drops back. He steps up, looking. Somehow gets the ball away. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time. He just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. They line up to punt this one away. It's off, and it is a dandy. White takes it to 43. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. Well, they had something going, but were unable to get any points. They'll start this drive at the 45. First and 10. This defense is looking to their impact corner to make a play. He keeps it. And they push him out. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. First and ten. Ball on the 37. Ball on the 37-yard line. Norman lines up in the shotgun, makes the pitch. He's gobbled up in the backfield. He got nothing on that play. The defense is really digging in now, you guys. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 38. The Mountaineers come out the shotgun. Throws down the middle. The ball is tipped, intercepted, and credit the safety with that last interception. He knew exactly where the quarterback was going with the football. It's not always about athletic ability. You've got to be a smart player and know what's going on out there. And that comes from breaking down film of the opposing offense and paying attention all week in practice. This safety was ready for today's game. They'll set up shop at the 26. Clemson lines up with three receivers. Looks, throws it to the outside. Someone got a hand on it. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. Second and 10, ball on the 26. The Tiger come out in the ace formation. Inside you, and he's tackled. That'll be a pickup of a yard. Third it's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Johnson comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. There's a fumble. Defense has it. It's one of the corners. And so they lose possession on the fumble. I'm sure that quarterback will have an excuse for that last fumble. Ha! Huh, an excuse, huh? Well, guess what? There's an old saying that says excuses are like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, coach. I know how the saying goes, but we're live on the air here. Yep, you're right. But if he were my quarterback and came to me with an excuse, he would have heard the old saying. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. West Virginia comes out with two tight ends. And he 
he's going to be sacked for a loss. So one of the veterans on this defense gets in there for the sack. They've got to do a better job of protecting their quarterback. Yeah, he can't afford to take too many more hits like that. Second and long coming up here. Ball in the 23. They line up in the shotgun. Gorman drops back, steps up in the pocket. Foster comes away with a sack. Under relentless pressure, the quarterback goes down for the sack. Those guys on defense are just pinning their ears back right now, coming in as fast as they can. Well, in that case, the offense needs to sneak in a screen pass at half. Let him get behind the rush and then take off behind his blockers for six. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball in the 31. Norman is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. Lawson comes away with a sack. The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down for the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking up everybody, then this quarterback's going to be pretty sore in the morning. That's for sure. They line up to punt this one away. Harris. Punch it, and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Sanders signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 13. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. They'll get the ball here at the 13-yard line. Johnson lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. He steps up, looking. He's going to air it long. Got it to the senior. That was a big time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46 yard line. Johnson is back in the gun. Johnson drops back on first down. He might not be able to get the pass off. I don't think the quarterback ever saw it. Heck, I didn't even see it. He was in there before anybody could say, look out! Second and long. Ball on the 39-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Johnson set to go to the air. Throws it deep downfield. He has him on the fly. Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. red zone when performance matters the most the last time they were in the red zone they got a touchdown out of it he breaks three seven with a takedown and that one goes for a big big first down you know every time you run the ball successfully like that that defense starts to creep up a little bit that's when you go to the air my friend over the top One man backfield. McGee runs a counter, tries to juke. Ball is loose, fumble, and he's taken down. Talk about a close call. The running back put the ball on the ground, but the offense keeps possession. Yo, Kirk, is it somebody's birthday on defense? I don't know. Where are you going with this one, Kirk? Well, it's got to be somebody's birthday, because this running back is handing out presents out there. Either that, or he's doing his best to get benched. Now I got you, Kirk. Fumble, birthday present. I got you. Looks like they'll try to power it right into the heart of the defense. Johnson will hand it off. And they hit him in the backfield. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. He got a little banged up in the head on that play.
Clemson comes out in the shotgun. Counter right, and it pays off. Touchdown. Well, that's how you get it done when you're down by the goal line, coach. When you're forced like this, you tell your guys, get in there, push, shove, and block. You get the ball in the end. And he hits the PAT. So here's the Pontiac Drive summary to recap what just happened. Clemson is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. White feels it in the end zone. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive. They were forced into a three and out. Boy, a boy, they have left the field. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what they made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Four wide. It's a direct snap. And they make the stop. The halfback runs for four yards. Second and six. Ball on the 24. The Mountaineer set up in the gun. Back to pass. Wade comes away with a sack. Tremendous play by the defense to get to the quarterback. That kind of pressure up front could be the reason why they win this game. Third down and ten coming up. Ball on their own 20. with the shotgun here. Throws this one out to the left. And it's incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. They line up to punt this one away. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Sherman fields it to 31. Lost the ball. Fumble. Freeman recovers a loose ball. First it's first and 10. Ball on the 37. The impact corner is in the zone right now and looking to take away half the field. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. High formation here. Throws it to the outside. It's tipped. The ball was tipped away, and that saved a touchdown. The coach has got to love this kid. His instincts are superb, and he's always around the football. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 21. The Mountaineers line up with four wideouts. They'll work the left side. Makes a move. They'll bring him down. So he turns the counter into a nine-yard gain. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The Mountaineers set up in the gun. Gorman, out to the right. Pass in daylight. 
And they convert on third down. Let me tell you, anytime you run the option, it really makes the other team afraid to blitz. Because if you blitz to the inside, it's going to the outside and vice versa. West Virginia lines up in a goal line set. Up the middle. He's hit and got away. Brought down. A two-yard run by the halfback. Gorman has four receivers lined up here. White again, and he puts it on the turf. And they make the stop. Not a good time to fumble the football. And that guy feels horrible about it. He's got to forget about it. Go out there and play hard the next time they hit the field. And believe me, this kid wants another chance to redeem himself. He won't fumble again. And they've got their work cut out for him on this drive. I doubt he'll take any chances here. Johnson hands off right side. And he's taken down. One yard on the play. Second and nine. They've got their backs against the wall. Johnson lines up in the shotgun. Again with a carry. Brought down. Five yards. It's third down and four to go. Ball on their own nine. The Tiger come out in the shotgun. He wants it all going long. It's deflected. Has it to the senior. You just can't say enough about this guy's play all season long. What a steady performer he's been all year. That last catch puts him over 1,000 yards for the year and a well-deserved congratulations. and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Tiger come out showing three wide. McGee takes a pitch. Palmer brings him down. He picks up a yard on the play. Second and nine coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Steps up, throws it to the outside. Incomplete pass. The gunslinger couldn't hit his receiver on that pass. I wonder why. Could it have been because it was thrown in the next county? So another third down upcoming for the offense. Johnson is back in the gun. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. He's knocked out of bounds. So on third down, they pick up the first and a lot more. When that kid caught the ball, he wasn't thinking about first down. He was thinking touchdown. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters the most. West Virginia lines up with five defensive backs. He jukes. He's got an opening. 
Touchdown, Clemson! And he tacks on the extra point. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened. Yard line. Gorman lines up in the shotgun. Gorman drops the throw. A little juke. Drives the spin. And he's drilled. Sacked again. That's number eight. It's one big sack party out there. I feel sorry for this quarterback. He's taking a beating. He's been taking some serious hits all day long, Lee. The coach might want to get him out of there before he gets hurt. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. The Mountaineer set up in the gun. Throws it to the outside. Complete. Henry with a takedown. They get a good seven yards on that one. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 25-yard line. From the gun. Back to pass. Looking. He's going left. Oh, great catch. Got a stat for us, coach. Why does this stat not surprise me? If that catch is 20 yards for the day, it's over 100 yards. And the leader of the defense at corner is in the zone right now. And it's caught. Johnson brings him down. He picks up a yard on the play. If they're not careful, this impact corner is going to make them pay. Complete. And he's tackled. West Virginia takes a timeout. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. They come out with three wide receivers. Looks. He's looking for his man. It falls incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. The Mountaineer line up with four wideouts. They'll run the option. Wade with a takedown. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut him down. They'll take over at the 45-yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Side handoff, he took it, and down he goes. West Virginia calls a timeout. Hey. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 49. The Tigers come out showing three wide. Simon tackles him for a loss on the play. West Virginia takes a timeout. Thank you. 
Third down and seven. Ball in the 48. They line up in the shotgun. Johnson hands it off. And they make the stop. They couldn't even get that drive started. Take the keys out of the ignition, sweetheart, because this defense didn't let them even get out of the driveway. We knew that this team's success would depend heavily on the success of their running back, and it's safe to say, I think, he didn't get the job done today. He put up ugly numbers, and as a result, his team's going to come out on the losing end. Before I knock the running back, I want to give some credit to the defense. These linebackers are good, but I didn't know they were this good. It's not easy to shut down a running back of this caliber. No, it's not. He is the playmaker for this offense. I think we saw today that if you keep him from having a big game, you can come away with a win. Yep, you got that right, but listen up. I feel sorry for whoever has to play this running back next because something tells me he's going to explode for some big yardage out there. He hates losing, and he's going to be on a mission the next time he takes the field. So after another exciting year of college football, we can finally name our national champion. Your thoughts on the game, guys? Clemson made the journey and finished it off with the national championship. It really couldn't have happened to a better bunch of kids in a classier school than this. They battled all year. Whenever it got tough, they came together and came out on top. And now they're on top of the polls, the world, everything. Congratulations to our national champions.